How's it going guys? Let's do a little review video today, shall we? Kind of review unboxing. Let's see what it's all about video, okay? That's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys are aware of Olight or anything, but they do a lot of sales all the time. And one of the big sales they do is this free keychain light. And thanks to, what's your name on here? EDC Texan, I believe is your name. I know you're gonna be watching this, so. <laughs> um, anyway, he reminded me that they were having the sale this weekend. So I went ahead, jumped on the website. I think it was Friday that I ordered it and it got here yesterday. So that was super quick, which is, uh, what's the date? Thursday, so Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday I got here. Anyway, super fast. If you ever wondered if it's really a free flashlight, it really is a free flashlight. I got this pen, but I didn't have to. They just pay for shipping, which is like five bucks. Cause last time I got this one and that's all I got was this flashlight. But I really do like Olights. They're really good. This is my, I got that one. I have this. This is the i3T, I believe it is. I mean, super tiny, super bright. I'm, works great. I've got like the stream light with the same size. And this is way, um, way brighter than the stream light. The battery will probably last longer with the stream light. But it's single AAA, so you can carry a few extras. It'll be more than enough to be efficient. I got a next one on my list. That's what EDC Texan told me, too, was the uh, the Baton 3, the little small one, I think is what it is. I'm going to have to get that one next. I got, I got a couple friends that absolutely love Olights, too. I think they have one of every Olight they have. <laughs> you can, if you're watching, Matthew... Or your dad, you know, let me know down below. How's your, how's your Olight collection coming along? Anyway, so here's the free one. Ordered a pen too. They sent me matching colors, so that's pretty cool. So it comes in a box like this. And when you get them, you just unscrew this here and this little piece of plastic. That little piece of plastic right there comes off. And now this light's working too. And that's how... I don't want to blind you or anything, but this is a pretty bright flashlight for being so tiny and only running off one AAA. The only thing that I don't like is sometimes these can come unscrewed and you're not paying attention, but I haven't had it happen with these O lights yet on my keychain. I used to carry the mag lights back in the day, the little skinny mag lights, and they would always come, come unscrewed. Anyway. There's that one, that's the model. They're not free anymore, but they're very inexpensive. You go check out their website. Sometimes they do deals where you buy something, you get that for free. This is the other thing I bought. I've been wanting one of these for a while. I want the, the bigger one too with the flashlight, but I got this one for right now. So this is a mini bolt action pen, the O pen. So, oops, check this bad boy out. Uh, danger, don't let your kids play with it because they will break it because they, that's what they do because they're kids. Don't drop it. Um, precision assembly product on the bowl tip may lose its writing function if damaged. Do not soak in water. Okay, so don't get it wet, don't drop it, and don't let your kids play with it. I've already broken the first rule because, of course, my son, when he saw this, he had to check it out, which can't blame him. That's what boys do. <laughs> Uh, it does say on the back to not use um, anything really thick. I think over three millimeters. Is that what it said? Yeah, three millimeters thick. So this is uh, this is one of my ammo wallets getting built here. Um, this is four to five ounce leather. You see how thick that is? Probably probably pretty close to the size of like a pair of jeans pockets or something. So. That's probably pushing it. It's flexing it out a little bit in case you can't see there. But probably probably be all right in your slide in your pocket. Sit over your jeans, I'm sure. Especially your jeans, you know, like your shorts and stuff. They're a lot thinner. Just getting it over that initial seam. Anyway, this is a bolt action pen, which means in order, instead of having a clicker at the top or you twist it to get it in, you have this little little bolt here which makes it fun to fidget with, of course. Now it's locked in place and you're ready to write. When you're done writing, click that. 
and the ballpoint is gone. These are refillable. By the refills, they're Olight branded as well. And unlike some pens that have 200 different parts, you got the barrel there. This is your cap with your bolt action piece in there. And I just moved it and it doesn't look like it can come out. You're not losing any parts, so that's good. Just a refill and a spring. Push it in there, twist it back on, and you are back in business. So, compared to, I don't know if some of you guys know or not, a Fisher Space Pen. These are the ones that can write upside down and all that good stuff. No bolt to fidget with. The clip I had to buy separate. So this pen itself was, I think, 25 bucks. And you had to buy the clip, it was like another five bucks. It is refillable as well. Probably takes about the same kind of refills. I've never taken this one apart, so if 100 pieces fly out, we're just not going to reassemble it on camera. That's actually a giant... Uh, I don't know where that goes. <laughs> I wouldn't think that would fit. Yeah. So, that's a pretty, pretty big refill. But it doesn't have very many moving parts either. It doesn't have a spring in there because it doesn't have the bolt, obviously. Oh, it's got some kind of spring. All right, screw that back together. Man, that still does not seem like that refill fit in there. Anyway, with this, your pen tip is always out. So if you ever lose the cap, your pen tip's definitely always out. But the neat thing about this is you can put the pen cap back here and you've actually got a full size pen in a small compact carry piece, which exactly the same size as that Olight pen. How do they write? Let's see. Let's keep it short and right. See, that's a good place you guys should visit. mstoutdoors.com. That one wrote pretty good. Let's see this one. I haven't wrote anything with this yet, so let's see if it let's see if it writes. Or if I need to scribble, scribble, scribble. Oh man, right off rip. This is another website you should visit. And if you have any questions about buying a holster and can read this chicken scratch, that's how you can get a hold of me. Did you know that? <laughs> so. I don't know if this one will write upside down, but I do know it writes smoother than the space pen. I haven't used a space pen in a while. See? But you know what? This, this is saying it's using a gel ink, and then this one, I guess it's just a regular ballpoint pen. It still writes good. I kind of like let's see you can't compare it when it's all put together I definitely like writing better with this because it's like a regular pen so if we take them apart and try to write with them this is definitely a better pen to write with I don't know maybe because it's not tapered off at the end I like it I think I'm gonna to have to make a little EDC pouch that carries, probably not that, but maybe one of these and one of those and a pocket knife. What do you guys think? Let me know down below if you'd like to see an EDC pouch on mstoutdoors.com. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment down below. What's your favorite? Oh, like.